Okay, the first fish I use the lemon yellow and yellow and yellow ochre and orange um, to color. Remember, um, you need to clean your or your pastel or all your cream yarn before you color. Uh, don't dirty your picture. Use the one cream yarn to color different areas at the same time. Uh, they will be fast and to save your time. Also, do not do the same color to the next area. They will make your picture more interesting. Like uh, around orange, you need to color different yellow around the orange. So just don't do same orange. If you do the two area for the same color, you can use the white uh, crayon yarn to tint one of the area light, and then you can see this is difference. Okay, I use the red, vermilion, uh, kind of like a dark orange, and pink and white to color the second fish. The same thing, I use the red to color the all areas I want. I want to. They will save your time before you change the another color. Did you see I use the white crayon yarn to tint some red areas and to let the uh, make it a different color? I use the pale orange, it's kind of light orange to color the pictures. Today look like more interesting. Right now I use the brown, red brown, uh, ultra marine and gray to color the rocks. You can try to mix the two colors together and to see uh, what is different. Uh, even the same rock, I use the different color or shade to make the picture more interesting.
Okay, I use the white color to tint one gray area and one uh, ultramarine color to lay lightly uh, and more interesting. Uh, they have the present the different value of color. You can see I used the three different green ones to color. Uh, I first used the light green and middle green and dark green. Remember to not color the same color to the next area. Okay, I use the blue and light blue to color the ocean, the water. Uh, first one, I use the, the blue to color first. Color all the area you want to color. You can use the colored pencil, similar color to fix your age. Also, you can use Sharpie to create more area you want. Look, I use the Sharpie to create one area. If the area is too big, you can create two and have different color. And use the color pencil to fix the edge. See, they have the same color for next one. 
so I create another area and I use the white color to tint that light and separate the difference. This is very important. And for the crayon, it's cross the sharpie line, and you can use a ruler or hard card, like a gift card, credit card, and to scratch off the crayon. <laughs>